Welcome back to the back porch. Uh, I'm EJ Swatzel, and today we're going to do a uh, product review on this product right here, Evapo Rust. Doesn't sound like much to you, but if you by chance happen to be a license plate connoisseur, such as myself, you might eventually run across a piece that you would like to have somewhat restored, but not taken out of original condition. If you will remember uh, on our previous video, which there will be a link posted, uh, we talked about how original license plates are uh, more sought after and more valuable than those that have been redone. So if you can take a plate that's a little bit rusty and take some of that away, then you've increased the value and found yourself a better plate. Uh, and that's the example that we're going to use tonight. But first I want to tell you a little bit about the product that I like, uh, that I use, and it's this product, uh, Evaporust. And it is simply a liquid that eats away rust. Now you can find this product at, uh, I, I bought this at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. You can find it at auto parts stores. You can get it uh, by a bigger size, bigger capacity, like a gallon at Harbor Freight and places like that. Um, I think they used to carry it at Lowe's, but I'm not sure they still do. Uh, but anyway, again, product name is Evaporust, and this is the container in which you'll find it. Uh, so the way that Evaporust works, uh, it has a cleansing, almost rust-eating agent in it, um, and you present whatever it is that you're trying to clean. It might be a license plate, might be uh, some old rusty cookware, uh, rusty tools, uh, rusty collectibles, anything like that. Anything that has actual rust um, metal that's been oxidized, uh, you can submerge it in this for a period of time, and it will clean it up. I've used it on tools. I've used it obviously on license plates. Um, I haven't used it on any kind of cookware or anything like that. Uh, and it might be another video at another time, but I've got a friend who uses an electrolysis product uh, process uh, for his cast iron. So we may highlight that one day, so stay tuned. Um, but my example today are these two uh, 1958 uh, Green County truck license plates. And you can see I left one undone and I left one treated by the evaporust process. Obviously this one is much cleaner than this one. They both looked exactly the same when I started. Uh, they're a pair and uh, I'm really impressed with the way that this worked and I'll, I'll tell you how I do it. If you read the instructions, it will tell you uh, somewhere around, I think, um, okay, one to 12 hours. It'll tell you to leave it submerged one to 12 hours. So I took one of our handy dandy vintage um, Tupperware bowls, that's stout by the way. Hmm? You don't need to be smelling that. Um, and because it's kind of the size of a license plate and it will cover a license plate entirely. Um, and, and I used this Tupperware, put the license plate in it, poured this over top of it, I left it overnight, which ended up equating to about 18 hours. Uh, and this is what you had. I checked it at about half that time, uh, the length of a work day, and it was um, not nearly that clean, um, but it was on its way. Uh, so this is the result of being submerged in evaporust for about 18 to 20 hours. And you can see where paint had been, all written, um, paint had been, I guess, rusted off. Obviously, the, it can't bring back the paint, uh, but everywhere there was oxidation, like the brown rust colored on the paint, it took that away. Um, and that's exactly what I needed it to do. So when it comes to cleaning license plates, Evaporust is kind of kind of my go-to. I, I like it and it, it cleans stuff up. Now one thing that I would suggest that you do is um, uh, after you submerge it, uh, you get it out after an allotted time, overnight is a good number. Um, take it out, rinse it off, but understand that once metal is bare um, from the evaporust, you've cleaned off all the rust, if you don't coat it with something, then rust will come back to bare metal. Uh, so what I do is I, I will uh, use a shop cloth or something along those lines with WD-40, uh, which will grease it up and pre prevent it from re-rusting. Uh, so that being said, that's all I've got for tonight, but check out this product. Uh, feel free to use it. Of course, take all the safety precautions such as that and read the directions and those sorts of things. Uh, but just go try it, and, and you can use it on just about anything that's got some rust on it. Uh, do me a favor. 
uh, like our video and subscribe to our channel. Share this with your friends, and we'd sure appreciate it. And check us out later for some more videos, maybe some how-tos. If not, some good information stuff on antiques and vintage. We'll catch you later.